Hello everyone and welcome to another Minot Public Library digital resource guide. These are short videos um, meant to help you navigate the digital resources that you have access to through the Minot Public Library with your library card. Today this video is going to be focusing on our online catalog. That is where you can go to search for what books and other materials we have in the library that you can check out. So in order to get to the catalog, first you're going to come to the Minot Library's homepage, and then you have two options. You can either click on the My Account button over here on the left, or you can click on the search button right here, and this will take you to the catalog. I'm gonna click on My Account, and this takes me to the catalog's homepage. Now we are just gonna go um, through the basics of navigation through the basics of how to navigate the catalog. All right, so first we have uh, the, in the top left corner a uh, search box. This is if you know what you're going to be searching for, you can type in either the title or the author or a subject term, anything you want right here. So if you wanted to look for pirates or bioengineering or anything like that, you could just type that search term in right here and click go and it will bring up your results. You can also click advanced and then you can filter by search type for so you can filter by author or title. You can also search for multiple terms at a time. For instance, if you wanted to search for pirates and cats, this will narrow your search to things that have both pirates and cats in them. You can also do a combo search. This is where you would type in the author and the title or subject of the book if you know that what author you want to read but you don't uh, know which book um, or you have a specific book from a specific author that you want to see if we have and this is a faster way to do that. We also have a media button and this is a way to narrow your search by type. So if you wanted to type in pirates and then you could search for pirates uh, that are within board games, pirates, DVDs, pirate microfilm, and you can click on multiple options and it will bring up all of those options when you click search down at the bottom here. Next um, across, oh, sorry. Uh, next, we have a search button right here, this search tab. So this is going to lead you to that combo search, same as up here. This advanced search button is the same as here. Media is the same as here, but then we have a few different options as well. So we have an option for study programs. So this search helps you find items associated with the study program, such as AR or reading counts. So you can put in your um, search type. So if you're looking for the accelerated reader or the AR points, you can put in the information that you need to search within and search that way. You can also search by Lexile. So if you are looking for something for school and it has to be a certain Lexile, you can input that here. We also have a visual um, guide. And so this is where you would search if you are just kind of browsing a little bit and you want to search by classification and then you could click on religion or the arts or something like that. We also have um, just a browse the collection and you can search um, just a general search term and the results will be listed alphabetically. Oops. So then we're going to go back into the visual search. This is also it's here, but it's also at the, this tab at the top. You can also click through general interests and you can search by fiction or reference or sports. You can search materials by type, so CDs, DVDs, or eBooks, things like that. It's just another way to narrow down your search terms. Now we're gonna go back to the homepage. So on the very left of the homepage, we have news and messages. This is just information about the library. We have another search bar here. You can search by keyword, title, author, subject, series, or you can search to see if we have access to something in OverDrive or RB Digital, which are two of the resources we have for eBooks and e-audiobooks, as well as in RB Digital, there are e-magazines. We also have information about our library app. 
So Librista is an app you can download on your phone and that will be this library's catalog. So you can search for what materials we have on your phone and it's as simple as downloading this Librista app. We have a QR code here that you can scan to download the app or you can search for it on your phone. At the very bottom, we have a what's new section. This is going to be all of the items that have been added to our collection in the last 30 days. So we can scroll along the bottom here, or you can click see all to see all. Now, at the very top right hand corner, we have your account. So I'm logged in right now in my account, but I'm going to go ahead and log off so I can show you how to log in. So what you do to log in, this, info, or this box will come up and you are going to put in the barcode number that's on the back of your library card. So I'll go ahead and enter my information in and then you can put in your password. Your password is going to be your last name, all lowercase. If you are ever um, trying to log in and something is not working correctly, give us a call. Most likely we just typed your name in wrong when we were setting up your account and it's an easy fix. Once you are in your account, you can see what items you have on reserve. You can see which items you have checked out as well as their due dates. And you can see if you have any fines at all, it will tell you the amount of that your fine is as well as what the fine is for. Then you can see, we're gonna skip interest for a second. You can see your history for the past year. So if you remember reading a book that you really liked, but you don't quite remember the author's name or the title, and you know you checked it out in the last year, you can retrieve your checkout history. Going back to interest, you can create book bags. Book bags are basically like the library's wish lists. You can save books or things that you want to read or watch later, but something that you don't necessarily want right now. Book bags are not the same thing as reserves. So putting something in your book bag does not mean you have putting it on reserve at the library. That's the most important thing to know. You can create um, quite a few book bags. I have different ones for books and movies and how-to books. And I also have one for books that I want to use for the story times. So um, you can also do temporary book bags and then you can save them later if it's something that you want to make sure you can go back to. Now we are going to go ahead and go through a search. So let's go ahead and search for pirates. So when the results come up, this is what the page is going to look like with each record result um, clearly labeled. You can sort them by title, by author, by copyright, which is the year that they came out, or by call number. And on the left hand side, you can narrow your search by searching within. So if I wanted to search for pirates, and I also wanted to search for pirates specifically in the ocean, I could do that. I can narrow the search by which books or materials are in currently at the library. I can narrow it by material type. I can narrow it by age group but for adult and children. And we also have this section down here where you can search or click on the different subject headings that are related to each book. So if you wanted to get very specific and you wanted to search for pirates that are in North Africa, you could click on this and this will be all of the materials we have that are listed or that have the subject um, pirates of North Africa in their um, subject headings. There's also at the very bottom will be um, a section letting you know if that material is in at a different library that we also have access to. Mostly that is the school libraries around here. So let's go back to our pirate search and we'll go over each record. So when you click or when you see a record like this, there's some basic information like the title, the author, the copyright date, and the a summary of the book. It will also give you the call number, which is the, the information we need in order to find out where it's located in the library. And it also tells you how many copies of that material we have. Over on the right hand side, it will tell you if it is in or checked out. And again, it will tell you where it is located in the library, as well as what type of material it is. So if it's a book 
or like these ones are audiobooks. If you wanted to add these to your book bag, you would just click this little plus icon right here, and then it would show up right up here in your temporary book bag, which then if we wanted to view, it would show us everything that we've added. I'm gonna go ahead and click back here and show you how to reserve an item. So if I wanted to reserve this pirate book, I would click on it and then I would click on holding and I would click over here on reserve. Right now we have the curbside option. So we have, uh, if we would ask you to comment whether you're going to want to pick up the item curbside or at the desk. And then once you do that, you would just click okay and you would have the item on reserve. This will also tell you how many people are ahead of you in line for the same material. So if you are fifth in line, it may take longer than if you are first in line. Also in um, each record, when you click on it, there is a more detailed summary. There's a snapshot of the information. And there's also more details about like the ISBN, the publisher. So if you need to cite a book, this is a good place to come to figure out information you need to cite something. All right, so that is a basic overview of the library's online catalog. You can see that we have multiple page results that you can click on. If we wanted to search by author, we could do that. Um, so there are pretty easy ways to find what you're looking for within the online catalog. Of course, if you need any help finding anything, you are always more than welcome to call the Minot Public Library, and we are happy to help you with any questions that you have. All right, that is it for this uh, recording. Thank you so much.